Hi there, James Session Sodge, Environmental Technology Manager from DPS Environmental. I'm here to talk about the small scale pyrolysis and gasification unit, 12 metres long, 4 metres wide by 4 metres high. We're using it to thermally destroy the waste and recover heat energy um, in the form of steam or hot water. And in the commercial sector, we've been looking at the hospitals, um, NHS trusts, and such like, where they've got expensive, difficult waste um, they need destroying, but also they can use the heat for the hospital. The waste is fed in into a waste hopper. The front end can actually be customised for different clients according to their needs. The waste falls down into a compactor screw where it is uh, compacted slightly and also it forms an airtight seal and that maintains a low air environment throughout the rest of the process. Um, once the waste has passed through the compactor screw, it drops onto the pyrolysis screw. This takes it through the pyrolysis chamber where it's heated in the absence of oxygen and the waste undergoes a process called pyrolysis. Uh, thereby the waste breaks up into um, the carbon and the hydrogen that's in the waste is released into carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen gas. And um, what's left is a carbon-based char. Uh, this passes into the gasifier where, it's in, where some air and steam is injected and this gasifies the char into um, carbon monoxide. Uh, what's left from that process in the solids is an ash and that's passed out into the ash collection vessel uh, where it can go on to further processing or to landfill. The gas that's accumulated from the pyrolysis section and the gasifier section is passed through into the high temperature oxidation chamber where it's mixed with air and combusted. So it's high temperatures and the gas is retained there for a long time to ensure destructions of dioxins and furans. Uh, finally, the hot exhaust gas is passed over the pyrolysis tube uh, through the pyrolysis chamber which helps to heat the waste up in the first part of the process and the remaining heat is taken to a heat recovery system and that heat can be used for hot water or central heating as appropriate. So typically when speaking to clients about the small scale pyrolysis and gasification unit we talk about processing up to 1500 tonnes of waste per annum but also with that waste we can generate up to about 750 kilowatt thermal. The pyrolysis process has advantages over an alternate combustion method in that quite a lot of the sulfur is retained in the ash. So sulfur emissions into the air and through the exhaust system are much lower than an equivalent combustion system. <laughs> 